so let me start. Um, we call an association, which is a so it's um we had to go. Um, it's a, a built-in function now in Mathematica. Uh, it is a binding between keys and values. Uh, the here is how you basically type it. A and B are keys and X and Y are values. In, in other languages, it's known as dictionary or hash or hash map. And uh, it is what you expect it to be. It's, um, uh, it is built to be efficient uh, if you if you know if you are given a key, it is uh, it is built to be efficient to be able to um, look up the value. Um, and uh, since it's uh, in, in, so um, since it's mathematical functions, we use expressions as a general data type. You can use arbitrary expressions um, as a keys or values. Additionally, uh, or uh, entries in association order it. So if you uh, it, it preserves the order you, in which you add values, add, add uh, keys or values. Sometimes it is convenient. Uh, it is also used for creating hierarchical data, data structures. Okay, so uh, basically uh, the basic construction you just uh, evaluate association like this, and you get a nicely typeset thing which you may already uh, seen in the previous talks. Or you can use uh, this notation directly and you'll get the same data structure. Um, for convenience, it flattens the lists and it can also, you can also use associations aside. So it's just, so uh, it's done to, to have more convenience working with, uh, with this data structure. Uh, you can use anything for keys or values. Here's an example. Now, sometimes you may have just a list of keys and a list of values directly. And uh, you may find this function useful, or you can make um, association directly like this without um, trying to, you know, thread the rule through this, through both of the arguments and then try to to do a session. Uh, useful, so uh, this function is useful because it's more efficient than doing it uh, separately. Now you can you can uh, have uh, this this association nested in various ways. Like here, you can have them as uh, values or keys, or you can um, combine them in in the lists or other structures. Later, I'll show you that um, it's even though you have this uh, more complicated construct, construct, it is quite easy to extract values from this thing. Now, uh, how do you extract values from the association? The simplest way is to use a functional notation. Uh, you use association itself as a function name. And then uh, if you uh, apply it to a key, you get the value. Now, if the key is missing, you get the missing result, uh, which also explains uh, why the reason. Uh, we, all, we distinguish between expressions and strings. Uh, in the previous talks, um, you, may, you may have seen the keys were used as uh, strings, but that's only for convenience. Uh, they could be symbols. So if you try to extract that, you'll get the corresponding value. Now, if you if you have something something complicated like this, um, it is also possible to to extract values like here. You extract corresponding values. Now that's one way. Um, uh, one thing here is that if the key is missing, you get a specific built-in result missing. Now, if you if you want to change that, a more convenient function is lookup. So it works this way. Now, if you want to specify a result for a value which is uh, which is not there, you may specify in a third argument. It also you can you can extract several keys at once. And actually, the lookup function has more things, so you should 
look up in the documentation as always to see what what we can do. Now another way to extract data from the association is using part. So one thing is again uh, we extended the part function to accept things like string or uh, other things specifically for association. So as you uh, as you remember from the pre in the previous versions part was su supported only integers of or um, spans for example. So here you extract okay so um, if it is a string then you can use a string directly in the part. If it is expression we may need uh, a key wrapper which tells us that uh, what we are what we are looking for so do not evaluate this the value of the thing but just use the use it as use directly just that expression if if you have an association or a nested association like this uh, part was extracted to uh, to drill down to through these things so in this way you uh, you access the the value corresponding to the key a which is this uh, this day, uh, thing then you access the value for the corresponding to the, the key B, which is X. So, as expected, I am extracting um, this value. Now, even uh, if the value is more complicated, we can still drill down using part. For example, here I'm accessing the value for the key A, which is this part, and I'm getting the list then it's the first part of that which is this association and then I'm accessing the part the value corresponding to the key B so it works naturally uh, now we introduced the key wrapper uh, uh, so the key wrapper appear to be more useful in others in other things so and the, the need for that wrapper is illustrated here that if you want to extract part first part remember that the association is um, is ordered so it, it preserves the order of, of elements so the first part would be uh, the first element here which is two okay now if you if you want to extract the part corresponding to the key one which is this one you specify it with a wrapper and of course part supports um, uh, specifications as it used to be before so minus one corresponds to the last element and, and notice that we extract only values now and we, we can support spans as well so we uh, I'm extracting first and third this pen with this step two now um, this key uh, wrapper comes up in various other other respects for example position if I if I ask where is the power uh, expression in 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 the um, in the given uh, in the given association of various things, it gives me a result involving key uh, key wrappers and other things. And uh, I can use a, I can use uh, th these results to extract a specific uh, specific exp sub expressions from from the given one. Uh, and I, I will cut zero because I don't, I'm not interested in power. So let's see if I if I feed it into extract, I ex, I'm extracting x um, x squared, and um, so that's uh, right. Uh, okay, yeah, it's uh, second part here. We also distinguish between a rule and the rule delayed. Uh, you will f uh, that's a very a useful thing. Let me demonstrate that. So if I define uh, an association with the value and with the rule and with the following value, so what happens is that the uh, the value gets evaluated before association is constructed. So if I evaluate that, I'll get a message printed and then here is what is assigned to F. Now if if I'm trying to extract the value, I, will, I get nothing because it's the, value, the return value is null. So to to prevent the message from from being evaluated at construction, we use uh, rule delayed. Now when we do that, the message is not evaluated and that's what's stored. And uh, if I want to extract that, when I evaluate f of a, 
that's when message is related. It's very convenient to organize your messages this way because um, you don't have to, to search through the list of messages to display. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Now, how do I add elements to the association? Let's start from the empty one. So F holds an empty association. And now to add a, a binding with the key A and the value 1, I, I just do assignment using the function notation. And now I get this. Now I want to add key B with the value 2. But now I want it to be delayed. So if I use rule, uh, I use um, set delayed here. And that's what I get. Uh, this functional notation supports also more complicated assignments. For example, I have a nested association, and then I assign using two argument things. So you see that C is gets replaced to uh, four, and uh, now I can use it on um, can use like this. So it gets you, you can use keys here, same way. Now another fun another useful function to uh, set values in the station is associate, associate to. It is more efficient in some ways, um, namely when useful to construct associations if you have a list of rules. Uh, it uh, has some internal um, internal um, optimization. You will find it useful. Okay, uh, you can also add add elements using append, prepend, and other things. So since association is um, is uh, preserves the order of entries, so we may have we, we may add sequentially binding several times. Okay, so you you can find many many functions support that. Uh, deleting is used using unset. So if you have that, you get empty association. Or use delete function. You can notice it also supports the key wrapper. So I advise you to read documentation. Now let me show you. The, let me show this picture here. So internally, association is implemented as a as a tree, and that's the key values things, and these are internal nodes. The, um, the reason I'm showing you is that mathematics is a functional language. So the date this um, the association is uh, supported in a functional way. Which means that it is immutable, and when you when you try to change the values, or when you try to add keys or values or delete them, you get a copy. And let me show you how how it is. So that's that's for you to understand the um, how um, some some when you work with a session, that's that you 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 may need to to know this to understand what's going on. So when given this gray uh, structure, which is a session, I want to delete one of the key values, which is shown blue here. So instead of just deleting and updating the node, so these are no, these are key values, and these are internal nodes. Instead of just deleting this, I'm creating an internal node, which refers only to two things. And I'm creating a root of a session, which refers to the unmodify things. So this way, if you modify, if you modify association, it is very efficient because we don't you don't really copy anything. It's only the necessary part that gets copied. So it is quite fast. And likewise, oops, uh, likewise for addition, uh, instead of when I, when I add another element, what I do is just I create a few nodes, few internal nodes which refer to the old elements, and with the added new one. So I have now I have two associations. The, the new result will have the the key uh, key value added, and the old result which gets unmodified. Uh, there are structural there are structural operations. Some operations um, they work with associations as a list of rules. For example, normal turns it into a list of rules directly. Association map applies a function directly to the rules. For example. Um, for example, like like this, like reverse, um, or most of the functions, and uh, we there is a large list of functions that support association. They work. They uh, treat association as a tagged list. They don't pay attention to keys. They work only on values. Uh, for example, and um, some other functions they treat as a list again. So first element gets only the value, and most rest. 
uh, again return what uh, what we expected. And now, uh, more complicated functions like select cases they also work on associations. And um, for example, here I'm looking for integers, and it looks for integers only at values. Runs me the values which are integers. There are more. Uh, there are association specific operations. Since association is a data structure, you may want to. There are more complicated things that you can do with it than just a list of rules. And therefore, uh, there are we introduced uh, many functions that uh, do various operations on on um, on associations. And and uh, for example, not only on, on them, but they, they may return association as a result. Uh, there are several functions that work on keys, uh, as, a, as opposed to functions that working on the values, and there are many others. So, uh, I advise you to start looking at the, at the um, associations um, guide page. Some functions are listed here, but um, there are references, for example, functions that apply to values. Uh, there is a large list of functions which were introduced in the previous versions. Now they all can work on associations as well. So um, association as a data structure is quite quite well integrated into the language, and you may find it useful in many many respects. Uh, so I will I think I will end here. Thank you. <laughs>